Lake Champlain is such a wonderful resource. It adds immeasurably to our quality of life. It's the recreational playground for us. It's our drinking water source. It's also our economic engine. And it's under threat. Four years ago, my wife and I were out kayaking right here in St. Albans Bay, and the whole bay was blooming. And I wanted to figure out what it was all about, so that's why I decided to do volunteer monitoring. Cyanobacteria, also known as blue-green algae, can multiply quickly and form potentially toxic blooms under certain conditions. Well-developed blooms can look like thick pea soup or green paint in the water. Blue-green algae existed forever. The issue with it is sometimes it can turn toxic. That creates a public health threat. The only way you can tell if there's toxicity present is to sample. We early partners in the program were the Lake Champlain Basin Program, also the University of Vermont, and then expanded it from there. The Department of Health in Vermont and the Department of Environmental Conservation are also key program partners. The Volunteer Monitoring Program complements data collected by scientists in New York and Vermont as part of the Lake Champlain Long-Term Monitoring Program. This program has provided important information about the health of the lake for more than 20 years and developed the science behind the volunteer program. The Lake Champlain Basin Program is pleased to support both of these important programs. What the program does, let's get as much information out there and they keep people safe. Those citizen monitors go out and they do visual assessments and then take water samples at least weekly. Those samples were then assessed at various labs. They put it to a data tracker, which is very publicly available information. I have seen a lot of changes in the lake. You watch a boat go by and the waves are just green. And maybe I can help with do the monitoring. And if everybody did a little bit, it would help clean up the lake. This is an award-winning program, one of the most comprehensive in the country. That's due to the dedication of that volunteer base. We have over a hundred volunteers just for Lake Champlain, New York, Vermont, and Quebec. The requirement is you're dedicated and responsible, you care about water quality, and you're willing to take a training. Well, aside from the reward of having the excuse to get down to the lake uh, every week, learning about the blue-green algae, is, that's rewarding. Just a great overall experience. Knowing that we're doing something that's helpful, they need lots of monitors. We live on the lake, we enjoy the lake, and I would like to participate because I want to know what's going on in the lake, and that's the best way to find out. I figure it's my responsibility to do something about it. We're the people who live in this watershed. If we don't get involved in these critical issues, then the lake doesn't have much future. Citizens of all ages can help improve the health of the Lake Champlain Basin. To learn more about the local watershed groups and how to get involved, visit www.lcbp.org.